This is a rare historic event, this mystery eruption that they first basically attributed to the wrong volcano, to the Ale Bago volcano in Ethiopia. But the thing is, everyone was waiting for a large earthquake because for months, seismic swarms were shaking East Africa, especially around Ethiopia, where we now have that eruption. And many thought, okay, we will see a bigger earthquake, but instead the ground has opened up. And I can tell you, it's not the Alu Alebagu volcano. It is something else. Many People have reported this is a major volcanic eruption in Afar and people on the ground have also reported that they saw lightning strike, that they saw this massive, massive ash plume and you see p people that were taking pictures. So what we do have in this area around the Erta Ala volcano, it's definitely not the Erta Ala volcano. First, they said it's Ali Bagu. It's locally known under the name Amai Tole. It's an immediate neighbor of Erta Ale. And the exact location maybe is between Amai Tole and Haile Gubi mystery surprise eruption in Ethiopia, in the Afar region. And no, guys, it's not Fentala or Dolphin that I have reported a lot about. This time, they weren't really sure where it's coming from, which volcano, because this is not a very well surveilled area or anything, very remote, and it's close to the Erta Ale volcano, but it wasn't Erta Ale. So it was an intense explosive eruption in the middle of Ethiopia. That is what we can see on satellite. Um, images. This is a very tectonically active area and it's home to a large number of volcanic systems. And the satellite images in, in the beginning, they seem to indicate that the eruption took place in the area of the Haile Gobi volcano, a volcano that is quite, or let's say almost unknown. And it's a shield volcano and it's located a little bit south of the Erta Ale volcano. That's why many people um, basically think this is Erta Ale. And the eruption column, the ash cloud, was reaching very, very high at roughly 45,000 feet. This is what we hear, 14 kilometers. And the cloud of ash was carried by the wind into Yemen and to the south of uh, Saudi Arabia. We have a few reports from the ground, but not many. So that seems to indicate a paroxytic eruption that was accompanied by strong floods and this significant ash fall. And unfortunately that has involved some surrounding villages, but we don't know yet how much damage that has caused. The reason why everyone thought it's Ale Bagu volcano, um, which is the highest volcano in the Eta Ale range, and it is in the Afar depression, um, since 2001, the area near Alabagu, also near the culprit, had 17 quakes, magnitudes above 2 and up to 5.1. And 5.1 is quite significant for a volcano. And if that had been Alabagu, that would have been the first recorded eruption of this in this volcano's history. But again, it wasn't this one. But Crazy, right? There's several volcanoes and they're not surveilled that well so that they don't know which one is it. Because from the satellite images, I have to say it really looks like a paroxysmal eruption. This is a type of eruption that is way more powerful than the typical volcanic eruption. And you see how this shoot out there. It's a sudden, violent, explosive volcanic event that is characterized by vigorous activity like a strong lava fountaining, ash clouds, ballistic projectiles. We saw, we heard the reports of the lightning strikes. Um, these eruptions, they can last from minutes uh, to days. And there are the, the more intense form of normal volcanic activity, and they can have far reaching impacts on the environment and on the atmosphere, posing risks to air traffic, of course, local populations. And uh, we have to see if the local population has been impacted severely. So far, there are no reports about that. And for example, a good example of repeated paroxysmic eruptions is at Mount Etna, Mount Etna does this, for example. 
And overall, we do not know much about um, Haley Gubi, about that volcano. It's basically part of this Afar Triangle. That's a very important geological area in which we have three tectonic plates that are converging and separating. We have the Nubian plate, we have the Somali plate, and we have the Arab plate. And this is a movement that favored the birth of extensive volcanism that is basically mainly concentrated in the Erta Ale area. And that Erta Ale is one of the few volcanoes in the world that is actually hosting a lava lake inside of its craters. And Haley Gabi, the story and its history is, is basically unknown. There is some evidence of activity in the Holocene that's within the last 12,000 years. That is based on morphology and casts that are covering the recent deposits. We see ancient lava flows there, but there are no precise estimates as to when the most recent eruption occurred. So what happened today could be the first eruption in historical times. But the reactivation of this volcano might have started way earlier in summer. In July, we had a major deep magmatic intrusion that was detected close by, very, very close by. So scientists do not rule out that this new primitive magma deconstructed an older, cool, crystallized magma reservoir or that and that has maybe evolved into this unexpected explosive eruption that we have seen today caught everyone by surprise the highly gobi volcano guys it's it's as i just said it's a poorly studied shield volcano and it's in the danakil depression that's what this location is called and it's actually one of the southernmost volcanoes of this volcanic chain that is making the Great African Rift. And that whole area is geologically active because it is a rift zone where the African and, uh, and Arabian tectonic plates are pulling apart and that makes way for magma to reach the surface because it's thinning the crust. The lava flows that the, the past lava flows that we see around this volcano, the ancient lava flows, it looks like it's some time in the past 10,000 years, but it has definitely surprised us and it'll be interesting to see whether it produces more. I will definitely stay on top of this for you guys. Please hype, like, and subscribe and uh, check out the videos in the end screen. Interesting stuff, guys, I promise. So please. Come over there so that I see you in a second. Bye-bye.